Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Bernard Tobin here on the Corn School at uh, Ridgetown College, the uh, SWAC conference. Uh, pleased to be joined by Tice Tolliner. Hey, Tice, thanks for taking the time. Thank you. Thank you for. I'm um, glad to be back in Ontario after leaving eight years ago. So. Yeah, you were a, you, a long time uh, corn physiologist at Guelph, then headed down in the U.S., right? Uh, that is, that's correct. I was, uh, I was a corn uh, physiologist for 30 years at yep. the University of Guelph. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we uh, here in Ontario, we've got about 180 bushel crop, corn crop here this year. Everybody wants to know where that yield's coming from, so I thought I'd ask you. Um, that's what you've been talking about here at the conference. Let's, uh, let's talk about some of the research that you've been doing. You've been looking at U.S. corn belt um, you know, performance yields you know, from you know, the mid-80s to 2013. What have you learned? What is driving this yield? Okay, uh, first of all, let me tell you, these are big data. These oh. are big data. USDA collects data uh, on, on county-wise. Uh, mm -hmm. And we looked at uh, 10 states which produce over 80% US, U.S. corn crop. And uh, so they have those data. They are on statistical data, so a very large number of data. And so it gives us the opportunity to see what happened over the whole crop, over the whole, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just one and one specific experiment, specific locations, mm -hmm. but what really happens with corn in mm -hmm. the U.S. And so what we uh, we found really that uh, uh, some some really surprising results. Uh, I mean, before I go there, maybe I should mention that mm -hmm. corn yields have increased by uh, in the order of two bushels per acre per year yeah. over the last 80 years, from about 20 bushels to 180 yeah. bushels per, per acre. So that's tremendous. Uh, but what we, what we found here is that that yield improvement, uh, we could actually uh, determine what the cause of that yield improvement mm. was. And, and we got some surprising results. Yeah. Uh, and one of the, the maybe uh, most surprising results is that not all of it was due to in improvement in technology, and some was it due to uh, increase in Incident solar radiation uh, due to, uh, we don't know for sure, uh, uh, reduced cloud cover, uh, pollution, reduction in pollution, uh, uh, most likely uh, had the contribution. So, and they, they contributed about 27% of that two bushels per year during that 30 year period, it was due to this, what we call solar brightening. Solar brightening. Yeah. Uh, another part is that the phenology, and, and an important factor was that the phenology of corn over that 30 years. Has, uh, has, has, has really changed. Uh, and some of that you know and some of you don't, may, might not know. Uh, the, 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 first, the one you know is that, that the planting date has moved earlier and earlier. Um, on, uh, during that 30 year period, there was about a six day, on average, six day earlier planting date. Uh, on the other hand, maturity date hasn't changed. Yeah. So that, that life cycle, the duration of plant, the, the crop is growing is longer now. Yeah. So, but, but silking and grain fill is changing. Right? Yeah, that is really surprising is that usually it is considered in the scientific community that the, the planting to silking and silking to, to maturity, uh, that is kind of fixed. That, that is a fixed ratio. But uh, our data clearly show that's not the case. Mm. Uh, we found that a, a, a reduction in the uh, first period they're planning to silking and a, and a really very substantial increase in the period from silking to maturity what's called the grain filling period mm -hmm. and that is uh, has been uh, a, a big contributor to yield improvement and we uh, we calculated that 28% yeah. of the yield improvement is due to that longer wow. grain filling period. Mm -hmm. And the, and the final one was? Uh, the final one is, I mean, not that surprising mm. in the sense that we always knew that technology had a big, in, uh, basically what is driving that two bushels per year increase in yield is technology, improvement in technology. Uh, and that are many, many factors, of course. Uh, one of the most obvious one uh, are uh, the machinery we use, uh, uh, the, the uh, better uh, 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 abiotic stress tolerance, uh, the, Diseases and pests, mm. uh, you know, the, 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 the traits uh, we, we have in our corn right now uh, reduces the effect of, 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 of uh, insects on, on the yield. So those, those factors are, are, we know that they, are, that they occur, but we never mm. have never been quantified. Uh, we found that uh, something in the order of 45% uh, uh, of the mm. yield improvement was due to that 
that improvement yeah. in technology. And a big part of it is, is that stay green, that, it, that, yeah. a, that ability to keep the plant working way well into the fall, Absolutely. keep it green. Absolutely, and that has happened basically during those 80 years that has happened, that just continues. Uh, when I started uh, in Guelph uh, in the uh, in the uh, early uh, uh, in the mid 70s, mm. uh, a corn a corn hybrids they they senesce by the first of September. September, right? it's all done. And was <laughs> gone, and, and the black layer of maturity occurred <laughs> two three weeks later. Yeah. And now what you see in the hybrids today, uh, they stay green. They mm. are green all the way to the end. Uh, the husks might dry will dry out, and that is good because we got yeah, the, the grain to dry quickly. But uh, you know, so the plants. They can now use that solar energy, what is incident, they can use it and, yeah. and they produce more grain because of that. So. Final question for you, you talked about where corn could be from a yield perspective in 2050 and you had two factors there, climate change and technology. Yeah, yeah, so uh, be because we had those data we can actually extrapolate what happens in the future uh, and not extrapolate based on what happened in the past mm -hmm. 30 years. Of course, that might not happen but you know it's about the best prediction you can make. Mm -hmm. And so there are basically those two factors. So one thing that happened is the technology. Is, um, you know, there are different technologies, but technology has caused a big, is a big part of that, that yield mm. improvement. Mm. Uh, and, and, and so the question is, are we going to continue doing that technology? And of course it costs money, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, big companies, particularly big companies, spend a lot of money mm. on innovation and they uh, and, and that and that has to continue mm. uh, and on the other hand for that yield to increase on the other hand there is is climate change and of course we don't know what climate change will occur or not and how it will occur but we took the most likely scenario of climate change mm. and we took uh, and then we looked at okay what happens if you have climate change or no climate change and if you have increase in technology or no mm. increase in technology mm. And so in the best scenario, uh, in 2050, if we con consider that technology will continue, mm. improve at the rate it did in the past 30 years, we, we would finish at an average yield of about 220 wow. bushels per acre. Uh, however, if we have climate change, mm -hmm. that kind of drops back to uh, something like 190. Mm. Uh, uh, if nothing changes, everything stays the same. Yeah. And we have the yield that we have yeah. today. Uh, but if uh, now the worst scenario is we have climate change and no technology. And so con consider the fact that uh, uh, the companies, they start, uh, and, and, and governments stop investing in agricultural research. Uh, but then what will happen, uh, yields will drop to 130 bushels wow. per acre. So that's pretty bad. So yeah, I mean, right. it actually gives you some idea the importance of technology uh, on, on, on that yield. Improvement. Wonderful.